sun is shining, we are heading up to Greenbelt. It's a whole bunch of us this year. We've decided to go in a convoy, the black car sandwich as I call it. We've got Junty and Sarah in his little black car in the front, Amy and Hannah in her silver golf in the middle, and me at the back in my little black Honda. So we're uh, glamping this year, uh, which means the tent has been set up for us and we get some nice comfy beds. And we've managed to carry everything from our cars and set ourselves up and everyone looks kind of vaguely happy. Now it's actually time to go into Greenbelt. This is video, guys. Oh! What do you guys think of uh, Greenbelt so far? It's great! It's really exciting! Yay! But it's massive. There's insane amounts of stuff to get involved in. So many good things. And so many good food. But more importantly, we're really struggling to find the pizza tent. Not um, the pizza tent! No. Oh. So this is a first. Showering at a festival. This is one of the nice things about clamping. Um, knock knock. Morning, campers. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, what a beautiful sight. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh. What is happening? Oh. I mean, I'm ready. Yeah. And what is Auntie Hannah doing? I'm going to make. <coughs> so, Alex Baker. <laughs> Alex Baker. Okay, you are too, literally too kind. I think I should make it clear that having somebody cook you breakfast isn't part of the glamping experience per se. Not traditionally, no, it's not an extra that you pay for. Can I please get a camping slave? But in this case, we have the coolest little glamper ever. Totally worth the wait. I miss my calling as a TV presenter. <laughs> yeah, Greenbelt's really nice. I like it. You have this smooth, deep, bluesy, jazzy voice. Hi! That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really nice. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. <laughs> I love Greenbelt because it brings together all the different things that I'm passionate about. I love the fact that it not only focuses on the faith aspect of uh, my life, but also brings together kind of the social justice stuff, so the things that I can work towards day to day and uh, also puts that in a really creative way. I really like being with like-minded people and uh, hearing different perspectives. Climbing to the top of the mountain is totally worth it just for the view. So it's my first time at Greenbelt and so far I love it. It's diverse, there's so many different interesting speakers. I did not expect the schedule to be so packed and the programme to be so rich. I'm a bit overwhelmed to be honest, but so far it's been amazing. I like the atmosphere. I like the creativity, I like the inspiration I get from being here friends that I've known from coming over the years, meeting up with them is always great. Lovely music. I always get good book recommendations and I'm just inspired to do crazy wonderful new things. That's why I like Greenbelt. I am so knackered. You can just about see Balton House in the background there. Look at that. How cool is this? They've put lights in all the trees. Shower! Look at this. Access. Both these two people got dressed under their covers. I 
I didn't. I got dressed in plain sight while you were filming. You just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to prep the story. How was uh, that? That was glorious. I am not a massive fan of camping, and that's no disrespect to a green belt. I, any camping anywhere in the world. But I have to say, the showers in the morning, little slice of heaven. Good morning. baby how you doing <laughs> i love you baby you know i love you baby come here baby this is why come i always here. ask if it's decent Stop again! That is literally the most offensive thing that you could say. Well, what about? Stop! There's literally a million kids in here today. Is good weather today. This is this isn't green belt. What? I'm not even wearing wellies. I think one of the best things about green belt is being my first time is that uh, the feel of it is just really nice and people are really friendly and you can just chat to strangers and it's not a big deal and it's just kind of one big community that you can be a part of and I really love it. This is video. Oh, <laughs> do this all that time. <laughs> so I think it's really cool how you can see lots of different. And um, people in different types of people that you wouldn't normally see presenting. So actually we stumbled into talk about um, economics, which I would never normally be particularly interested in, or about human rights, or you can see a really funny comedy duo, and they're all just together and it's so easy to like see lots of different things and kind of question the things but also just like have a nice afternoon. How long have we been going to Greenbelt? We've been going to Greenbelt, um, for about 200 years. That's it's, a long time. It's, it's very long. I don't know, we've been coming since, um, I remember seeing like the Proclaimers years? and um, thinking, why, Lord? Yeah, why, Lord? Why do you hate me? Why do you hate suffer? me? I feel like it's 10 years, at least. Okay. I mean, people ask me, I always just make up the time that feels right. You yeah. Because yeah. it's green belt, you know, whatever feels right is probably yeah. right. Because whatever you feel can't be wrong. Yeah, and I self-identify as a festival goer. I do. This uh, self-identifies as a green belt, actually, <laughs> which is nice. Thanks, dude. Yeah. Goodbye, tent. You did a good job. Mm -hmm.